Hey there, Virgos. How's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, my name is Carolyn B. And welcome to your November 2020 uh, reading or message. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Spiritual Guidance Academy. Uh, they left a comment last month uh, on the October 2020 messages for all of you. Uh, big shout out to them for also allowing me to uh, be on this platform to share with them for a little bit as well. So a big shout out to all my fellow spiritual superstars out there. Uh, I know you're feeling it. I love you. Stay strong. And let's see here we have a message thank you so much xoxo uh, thank you so very much nicole i do appreciate you and absolutely adore you so let's see here virgos uh you are an earth sign for those that may be unfamiliar ruling planet is mercury i'm having all of these signs here working with selenite this crystal here is great when it comes to uh possibly purifying your atmosphere you know uh maybe if you're able Able to get on the go in these interesting times that we are dealing with right now, uh, possibly putting it in your glove box. Maybe if you don't have a car or you've got to, you know, walk everywhere or take a bike, whatever it is, you know, throw it in your pocket. Very low maintenance crystal also helps to uh, for my fellow readers out there on any level, you know, uh, helping to clear uh your senses, if you will, you know, when it comes to honing in on your abilities. Okay, so let's just get started here. This reading uh, could, it's going to be very generalized, very short, you know, just to kind of introduce myself and to say thank you all for your loving support, all those thumbs up. I really do appreciate you taking the time to give me a chance and watch. Uh, also, too, you know, feel free to check out my channel as well. And let's see here. This could have to do with love, health, friends, finances, uh, family, anything like that. Cross watcher, pull up a seat. This reading can go vice versa. This is not gender specific. So let's just see what we have going on for our Virgos when it comes to maybe a, a quick message when it comes to November 2020. Okay, we have the card here that says the drum, dream, and journey. All right, uh, some of you may be wanting to consider in keeping a dream journal. And I know it can seem very aggravating when we first wake up, you know, just like, oh, you know, I, I need to get online real quick, check my emails, check this, check that, have my cup of coffee, your normal routine. Uh, it's not necessarily the first thing we want to do. However, keeping a dream journal by your bed. And also, too, if you're afraid of somebody looking into it, I'm wondering if they still sell, you know, uh, those notebooks or uh, diaries, if you will, with a lock on it. <laughs> you know, uh, if you find yourself in that situation, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. Uh, but this is, you know, uh, some of you may have uh, dreams, you know, some of you may have, you know, very lucid dreams, maybe astral projection. Uh, also to maybe if you're dealing with night terrors, anything like that, uh, you know, and when I actually looked into it, the breakdown of dreams, you know, uh, it's good to jot them down, uh, try to get every detail that you can in. So if you want to see a dream interpreter or if you happen to look it up, I mean, it makes a difference whether in the dream, if you're outside or inside, you know, the color of your walls, uh, who is possibly in this dream is somebody coming to you to give you a message. All right. Also, too, this is a lot of your ancestral guides coming through. All right. Marching to the beat of your own drum as as well, you know, uh, and we are again in interesting times here. And sometimes when, you know, uh, people leave us, it's just like, all right, now what am I supposed to do? You know, uh, they were my mentor, they were my teacher, uh, there was somebody that I could go to that I trusted and now I feel that this burden is on me understand this that you are stronger than you think my dear Virgos my Virgos you're very good when it comes to you know spotting a snake in the grass you're very good when it comes to holding your integrity um, I have noticed there is a pretty much a a big difference when it comes to female Virgos and male Virgos uh, out there, you know, uh, also to be mindful of holding that anger, that aggression, 
uh, inside uh, your fellow Earth signs. Also, some of you could be working with Virgo, 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 Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Uh, holding on to that. All right. Releasing that and letting that go, transmuting it, if you will, you know, because that can I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer that can cause ulcers. Hello. Yep. I know all about that. You know, holding on to that because you do not want to burden somebody else with your problems or your fears or whatever it may be. Uh, a lot of trust issues like who can I trust? Why is this all happening at once to me? Uh, this feels a bit much right now. And, uh, you know, you're not alone in this at all. We are all going through this. And, you know, uh, Again, the drumming sounds, some of you could really resonate when it comes to music as well. All I can just hear is like a tribal drum uh, kind of bringing out your inner spirit. Wow, I just got the chills. All I can picture is like a fire, all right? And it's just like reconnecting with that tribe, that soul tribe, uh, you know, uh, your family, whatever it may be, okay? It doesn't necessarily have to be blood. This could be, you know, family, uh from another mother, another father, you know, uh, from years ago as well. And you're reconnecting, all right, uh, with your soulmates, if you will. So everybody uh, pretty much that you meet here, your pets, they're all soulmates, all right? Uh, and this is letting you know that you are on a journey. You are a, a spiritual warrior. And you have defeat in battles, which cannot be explained. And that really, you know, may ruffle some feathers out there, okay? And uh, very very proud of you and I just want to say that you do influence a lot of people okay uh, you lead by action all right this is also I'm noticing the Sun here the moon we've got all the different directions here I'm just taking a little bit more closely of a look all right also something to do very significant that is going to be happening when it comes to this winter as well I feel like especially when it comes to love it's just like hey listen I'm a Virgo okay you're not going to me how to run my business you're not going to tell me uh what i'm going to do and what i'm not going to do you're not going to influence me and that may frighten you know others and that's okay you know uh there is a difference between being uh how do i put this it's just like you get people that come in that try to shake your belief system. You get people that may try to come in, you know, that man or that woman. And oh, my gosh, I, I'm just like thinking of like some Barry White song. You know, you walk into a room. This could have to do with a, a male or female, whatever. And they're just trying to seduce you, honey. Oh, my gosh. Possibly an ex may be coming through like, you know girl guy I really screwed up and I want another chance and you're just like oh honey that chance is long gone you know the love may still be there and there's nothing wrong with that however again marching to the beat of your own drum also to connecting uh, also a lot of spiritual work that you have been doing raising your uh, ascension level as well and let's just look a little bit further into love before I babble on too much here I don't want to waste anyone's time so uh, time is very precious as as well and I feel like Virgos it's just like all right you know uh, you may be getting it the shot the the brighter you shine that attracts it's like moth to a flame all right so you're getting all types of energies that come in this is teamwork you know this is your tribe but these are your ancestors these are you know star seeds these are you know Palladians this is wonderful all coming in all from the past and uh, past loved ones too oh my gosh I'm just getting the chills so so bad right now in a good way you know, uh, normally sometimes when you get those chills or whatever, that could be, uh, you know, many things depending on what it is that you believe uh, as far as for me. And when I get those chills, that spirit coming in saying yes. All right. Kind of like deja vu. When you're having a deja vu moment, sometimes that means yes. OK. Uh, also, too, that is working with your angels, your spirit guides, especially with angels uh, when they give you a hug with their wings if you will uh, you get those chills they're letting you know that yes again uh, your spirit guides are here and you are not alone on this journey all right for signs for some of you that may want to be on the lookout for possibly uh, you know a Leo energy possibly some of you could be working with a Cancerian energy as well uh, again you know it could be Virgo 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 Capricorn maybe even uh, Virgo Taurus as well so let's see what we have when it comes to love now 
we have the King of Wands right here. All right. I believe I pulled this for Leo. Uh, feel free to go back and check. Uh, this could also be a representation of Capricorn. And I know that I read cards a bit differently here. All right. Uh, also, too, some of you could be working with that Sagittarius or Aries energy as well. But we have the King of Wands right here. Uh, for some reason, I'm just pulling it in like this big Capricorn energy, you know, like my little devils out there. Uh, and it's just like somebody here is just so uh, I don't know if they're being stubborn, uh, but this could be you or it could be the other person or maybe kind of like almost like a stalemate card here but this is somebody it's just like all right you know uh again with that whole passion right there that fiery uh i'm the king here and that's my queen or you know vice versa whatever again not gender specific here but they know what they want and they really want you honey <laughs> And uh, it's really up to you. You know, sometimes the more you say no to people, it's not like you're trying to play a cat and mouse game. It's just like, well, I want what I can't have. And, you know, sometimes that can be very scary because that can bring in that energy. Well, if I can't have them, then no one will. Who here has had to deal with that? Oh, I have <laughs> multiple times, unfortunately. You know, it's because you're creating that sacred space. You know, you're protecting your children. You're protecting your family. You know, if you have children or families, and I do understand some of you, are, or all of you are in different areas of your life, all right? Uh, also, too, this is somebody that is just like, wow, very driven, very passionate, very fiery. So back to that Barry White song, you know, I'm just imagining some, you know, gorgeous man or you know, some woman, you know, with the candles all lit, the the low lighting and, you know, all, uh, you know, very provocative and you just come walking in like, you said you needed something, this was an emergency, and then they're just all laid out like, yes, the emergency here is love and you are it and you're just like oh no 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 wait a second here or this could be a welcome surprise for you you know reigniting those passions absolutely nothing wrong with that so that's very exciting uh looking forward to hearing what you all have to say if this resonates uh resonates with you uh that is great all right so for your very last card here very last message here actually let's pull you one from here and one from here you know i like to work with these different cards here okay also to something about a water sign coming on in uh somebody that possibly could be uh, a bit younger than you are or possibly maybe they are older but younger at heart here they're very emotional uh you know romantic enthusiastic and contemplative plate of it says falling in love or wedding proposals what is this virgo wow uh that needs to balance emotions okay i believe a lot of us are going through that right now uh again when it comes to water signs possibly scorpio cancer pisces as well an invitation to a social event all right and uh again we're in interesting times it's just like well carolyn we're in lockdown we can't really go anywhere but i feel like for this particular event if you will you could either go online or you're just like honey i'm there <laughs> i'm there i don't care what mountain i have to climb what ocean i have to swim cross i am there <laughs> or this person may feel this way about you so if some of you out there are asking is that person that into you oh yes they are you know they're just going to come on in you know like the knight in shining armor if you will and they just wow so there's a bit of competition here so you've got a knight and you've got a king okay and you know uh your very last message here and this is wonderful is this card right here so the back of these cards look like this all right these are the whispers of love and on the back here front back very same some of you could be working with that twin energy possibly a gemini you know maybe an air sign all right uh maybe like a libra uh it says i love you these are very important words okay you know, somebody out there could be possibly working with an Aquarius. So some of you have got your options and you're just like, hey, listen, OK, I've had to do this on my own for some of you out there. And it's just like, who do you think you are trying to come into my empire and my palace with all this, you know, uh, but 
saying I love you, these are very important words, all right, especially when you're saying it to yourself, you know, a lot of the times, it's very easy for us to doubt ourselves, it's very easy for us to let others influence us, you know, and it's just like, it, it's a shame when people, you know, they see that somebody out there may be hurting or possibly going through a hard time, they're like, yes, my time to strike on it and kick them when they're down, that's awful, you know, and it, it just, it, it baffles me, it really does, however, saying I love you are very important words, whether it's to your partner, whether it's to your family, you know, whether it's to yourself, especially your fur babies here, your angels, your spirit guides are with you. And wow, this is wonderful here. Somebody is going to be proclaiming their love for you too, honey. And I cannot wait. Uh, November is going to be really interesting for a lot of my Virgos out there. Um, and I, wow, <laughs> somebody is trying to pull on your heartstrings here too. You know, some of you may have children, you know, or, you know, they're not necessarily children anymore. They, maybe they're going into the dating game and you're just like, oh, honey, I've been down this road before. And you want it's just like that person's not good for you. That person's just trying to do this. I've been there, done that. Listen to your elders. You know, uh, if I could go back to my younger self, I would say that. I know I'm showing my age and that's OK. Thank God I'm physically not showing my age, though, right? <laughs> okay, well, I love you all, and thank you so much. Hopefully that this message was helpful or maybe at least inspirational to somebody out there. So until next time.